morning everybody I am ungrounded I don't have Covid anymore yay <laughs> we're on our way to another park up in the peaks uh, not the same place we're going to Bucks, Bucks, Bu Bucksworth, Bucksworth it's a, no Bugsworth Basin Bugsworth it's called Bugsworth Basin because the town used to be called Bugsworth and it's now called Bucksworth um, it's a canal basin so we're meeting Andy and Tracy up there and um, we've just left the unit it's half nine um, we're having some battery issues we had a fuse that had blown and, and it's not charged a leisure battery so I don't know how we're going to get on because the Propex doesn't like it when the battery's on low voltage um, and it just cuts the Propex off because it, it throws up a warning so we'll see because it's pretty cold it's going to be like one degrees tonight so we'll see um, I, I got <laughs> hopefully Stephen can keep me warm um, I'm still not 100% I did have Covid for a week and I was off work um, and my breathing is absolutely awful so if you hear me heavy breathing down the mic I'm very sorry, I'm not being rude I can't really help it, my lungs have led so, she brings random people up and I breathe on the phone I don't <laughs> he rang me when I walked up the stairs, it was awful. Um, so, yeah, my breathing's not brilliant. We brought the scooter, so hopefully we can scoot down the canal path and I don't have to walk that far. We have got the dogs with us. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you for now. Hopefully this um, fairly nice sunny weather will hold on until we can go for a walk because it's due for heavy rain showers later, aren't we? Yes, um, three o'clock there's a pub nearby and it says it's dog friendly so we haven't brought a lot of food so fing fingers crossed that they're serving food because otherwise we're having toasties for tea <laughs> um yeah oh yeah the cash charges um they've been postponed until july it's gone back to government for a review boris johnson's basically said that it's unmanageable um so I don't know why Andy Burnham's decided to try and charge people that much money. And Andy Burnham's now said that he might be considering motorhomes and camper vans as private vehicles, which is what they are. Um, it's still not great for small businesses and whatnot if they do bring it in, but we'll, we will see, fingers crossed, that they see sense. But well, the problem you've got is, is camper vans. Now, the DVLA don't do, if you yourself build a camper van, they call it a van with windows nowadays. Does that class as a camper van? Because if it does... No, because you you've got to be our motor caravan on your logbook to be ordered to be classed as a, car uh, classed as a camper a van. on the logbook. What are we? This is down as a van. Oh, right. I don't know then. Uh, M1 or M1 or something. That, yeah, so who knows? I don't know. Um, it's very difficult to get a camper van registered these days. You have to have done it through a registered company that's the only way the dvla will do it they're really funny about registering them now so anybody that's building a camper just watch out for that because you'll still be classed as a van if you do go to bath london wherever you're a van and not a motorhome or a camper van um yeah we'll, we'll just have to see what happens i mean we've got plans in place anyway um so so hopefully they don't bring it in for a couple of years but we'll see it's all we can do um, and a load of taxi drivers did a protest on the Thursday Thursday, Thursday and Thursday. Start, beeped their horns outside of Andy Burnham's office for a couple of hours so maybe he'll take some notice I don't know um, he is bound by this European whatever it is to the environmental thing that we've got to bring um, nitrous oxide levels down in cities by 2026 so I, I don't know what's going to happen I don't know what the answer to it is people can't afford to upgrade the vehicles they are nowhere near at the level that we need for electric vehicles with regards to motorhomes and vans um, they've done tests on vans and put washing machines in them and it's dangerous dangerously slow underpowered so the batteries and technology is not there yet our um, grid our electrical grid cannot cope with every household having one or two electrical electric cars so they just they're not equipped for it so i don't know why they're pushing everyone to get them um, obviously yeah the green and this that and the other if the green why are our scooters not legal 
um, that's another issue. People have alternative modes of transport and the police are taking them off some people. So they can't moan on, on the one hand and say that we want you to be green and on the other hand say you're not allowed to lose your use a scooter. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's Susie's Saturday rant over. Um, hopefully we'll see you when we get to Bugsworth Peace. So, Mr. Price, what have you purchased for the van? Netgear Wi-Fi. And what do you think so far? Uh, good. I'm on the three uh, network. Um, no, no external aerial as yet because uh, I'm purchasing one. But I'm just doing a speed test as we speak to see what we get. <laughs> Offer three, four G. It's eighteen quid a month. And I uh, can't remember what. <laughs> it was quite a lot of internet. It was, it was 60 gig. Oh, it, he's also fixed the battery. It was a fuse that had broken. Oh, you can see that. 41.6 download, 9.94 upload. Daisy, what do you think of the Wi Fi? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Great piece of kit. A must for uh, anyone who uh, wants Wi-Fi on the move. Okay, I'm going to make my toaster now. Yeah. <laughs> Bugsworth Basin is a canal basin located in Bugsworth, formerly known as Bugsworth, on the Peak Forest Canal. This was once one of the biggest and busiest inland ports on the narrow canal system and was also the only one to survive intact. The 14 mile long Peak Forest Canal starts in Duckham Field and ends in Bugsworth. In 1975, construction of the six mile Peak Forest Tramway linked Bugsworth Basin to the quarries in Derbyshire which contain limestone and gritstone. Due to experiments starting in as early as 1804 in Wales using steam engines to haul iron, this advancement inevitably led to the decline and ultimate demise of the canal system. Bugsworth Basin was closed in 1927 and by the 1960s was dry and overgrown. Happily for us now, back in 1968, volunteers of the Inland Waterways Protection Society restored the canal basin. The basin reopened in 1999, but due to when they were originally constructed, engine-powered boats were not used. The construction was not strong enough to withstand them. This led to major leaks and it was closed again after a couple of months. The Inland Waterways Protection Society worked in partnership with the Countryside Agency, East Midlands Development Agency, Derbyshire County Council, European Regional Development Funding and British Waterways and funding for the £1.2 million restoration was granted from English Heritage which led to a major reopening in 2005. Developments and improvements now continue under the name of Bugsworth Basin Heritage Trust. I come for that dog. I come for that stay. Yeah. Are you yeah. toasty? Yeah, too warm actually. <laughs> Do you want me to turn the on? No, no. I don't want to. I'm swearing a dog. So we've been in the pub <coughs> for quite a long time because uh, the weather is shocking. It's just peeing down. We were going to go for a walk up the canal, but I see what it's like in the morning. For now, we're just sitting toasty in the van. So I'm brewing up because before I was saying to Stephen it's taken a very long time to boil the kettle and I'll show you what he didn't do. That little thing that makes it whistle, it was open. Can't cover, even it? trust him to make a cup of tea. What? Yeah, but when I finish with the kettle I shut the whistly bit and you don't. It, just, it doesn't take a lot to check it. It does. Now I'm making a cup of tea even though I'm still poorly. Because he's, no, got, he's got a dog on his knee. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him, but there's Douglas. Daisy's over there. Hi. 
That's all Stephen's done since we've come back from the pub. <laughs> Good morning campers. Stephen is making me breakfast. What are you making me Stephen? Eggs, bacon, black pudding, sausage, fries, hash browns, uh, cheese and cheese and ham. Uh, Rich monkey toasty. Rich monkey toasty. But I'll show you the weather is absolutely vile. It's been like this most of the night. Um, yeah, Andy who's in front of us says it's like sleeping in a washing machine. <laughs> it's pretty bad. We're hoping to get out of the scooters. I've just walked the dogs up soaked. I think it's been clear, right? Uh, a bit later. Okay. Like in the summer. This is joys of not being on a site. You're not restricted to being off by 10, 11, 12 o'clock. Yeah, true. You can you know, get up when you want, do what you want, have your breakfast, go out for a walk at 12 o'clock, come back at 3 o'clock, you're not in anyone's way or anyone's arm. Well, we do have to be back by a certain time because a yeah. um, certain pair of lovely people we know are doing live and we're moderating for them. So, yeah, my hair is absolutely soaking because my hood kept blowing down in the wind. So, I'm going to have some breakfast and then I don't know, see what the weather does. Look at that, I make somebody a good wife one day. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are soaking. Doug is not happy. Not Stephen has had to put on my pajama bottoms because he didn't bring any clothes. And I am a drown rat. It absolutely peed it down as you can see from the horizontal rain. So we're gonna get dried, have a brew, and go home and have a hot shower. We're on our way home now from Bugsworth Basin. Um, the weather has been Typically for the peaks, absolutely atrocious. Wind, heavy rain. <laughs> We've got absolutely soaked this morning. Um, it's 20 to 3. Got to go and dump the van, get home, get the laptop on, um, and watch Robin Lynn's live and moderate for it. And we've just uh, had a nice prize and we've seen Bry from Manchester Van Life and Rocky Bear Adventures. Yeah, we've been to the pub twice. Um, so we've not eaten in the van apart from toasties. <laughs> yeah, apart from breakfast. Toasties for breakfast. Toasties yesterday. And we've had pub grub two days on the trot, which has been really nice. We just don't have it very often, to be fair, do we? And uh, it's been such a nice time spending it with Andy and Tracy. They're so lovely. Um, go and follow them on Instagram. It's Andy and Sully's Motorhome Adventures. I'll put a link down below. Um, because they're gorgeous, they're such a gorgeous couple. They've got the cutest dogs. The camera's going again. And the pub, the navigation. The navigation in, the pub, brilliant. Absolutely lovely food, wasn't it? Nice carvery. Nice carvery. Last night was there, last night scampi and chips. Yeah, you had scampi, I had steak pie. Uh, well, it wasn't last night, it was yesterday afternoon because the weather was rubbish. Um, we just had a dead chilled out night in the van. It's just been nice to get away. Um, been took dogs for a walk this morning it was dry to start with and then on the way back we've got absolutely drenched um, so it might have taught Stephen a lesson to bring extra clothes because it's absolutely soaking yeah so it books with face and 
definitely recommend it we'll be going back it's in a little town called Bug Bucksworth used to be called Bugsworth up towards Chinley if you know the area and you can walk down the canal up to Whaley Bridge um, really really nice I highly recommend it Yeah, you, yeah, you can walk. There's the, the new, the, the Peak Forest Tramway. Um, so it was an old tramway, used to be used back in the 20s, I think, or something, to ship lime from Derbyshire down to the canal um, to take into Manchester on the shipping canal. But it's abandoned now, and it's just a track, which is really, really good. We would have gone out on the scooters, but it was so muddy and windy, we would have ended up in in the river or in the mud. <laughs> in the canal, while well, there was a river on the other side. Um, so we didn't, but the scooters are still. And then we would have ended up with muddy scooters in the van, and it's just hard enough with muddy dogs. So yeah, we're going to dump the van now. Definitely give it a good clean next week, hopefully, because it needs it. Don't know when we're away next. Um, pro we probably are. not doing anything now till the NEC. So. No, we're not going in the motorhome. We're Andy and Tracy are taking us in their posh Tesla. So that'd be nice. Um, being chauffeured. And yeah, we'll probably see you when we're there. So see you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Beyond gravel, beyond all.